ask you a question. What, boy? Do you pay attention to anything if I say real? You will fight against me. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. You are the only one that loves me. This is the phone, motherfucker. Oh, what's that? What? So here we have uh, the Uniden Pro 41H8 and the uh, Radio Shack TRC 234, which if I'm... If I remember correctly, this is the last radio that radio, the uh, last handheld CB that Radio Shack made. We've got the stock rubber duck uh, for the Uniden Pro 401HH here, attached to the uh, Radio Shack rig, and uh, we have the uh, Cobra. H-A-T-A, -A, telescopic whip antenna, There's you can see the coil there, so. Uh, if you use handheld CBs and you actually use them as handheld radios as opposed to, you know, in your car with uh, an external yeah, antenna. Yeah, you ain't no CB sucking those damn nigga, I'll whoop your Yeah, uh, I heard about you though. Yeah, okay. So, um, if you use handheld CBs in the car, uh, you definitely want to use an external antenna. Yeah, you do not want to use the um, uh, antenna connected to the radio inside the car. It will not work at all. Uh, an external antenna, however, is going to give you really, uh, really good range. You have a clear channel and good antennas. Um, if you are using your uh, handheld CB outside as a handheld radio, like so, then you want to get a uh, high-performance antenna like the Cobra HATA. I just wanted to demonstrate the differences between these radios. This is kind of a basic bare bones, four watt, 40 channel AM CB handheld. Yeah, and um, Can you help me from... this radio is, well was the top of the line uh, Radio Shack uh, handheld. It's got a uh, high low power, low power is one watt. Uh, carrier high power is about three and a half, uh, maybe 3.7, 3 3.8 watts uh, carrier power. You have a backlight, you have a uh, weather alert function as well as a keypad lock function, which is kind of nice. So, let's see, now I just keep doing nothing, so that's kind of cool. Um, you have a CBWX uh, function, and you have a scan option as well as instant channel 9. And those guys are locals on 19. They usually are heard on channel 22. So let's check the uh, WX function here. It's going to scan the seven weather channels. Feed three to four feet with a dominant period of nine seconds. Building to five feet with a dominant period of nine seconds this afternoon. Tonight, northeast winds 20 knots with gusts up to 30 knots. See 6 to 7 feet with a dominant period of 6 seconds. Wednesday, northeast winds 20... And then take you back to CB, so... You could set this radio up to, um, basically as a dual watch function, which lets you listen to a CB channel. Uh, as well as monitoring uh, the local uh, weather channel for uh, any kind of uh, weather alert tone. So that's kind of a, a cool feature. Um, this is the uh, made in Thailand. This is the original uh, factory uh, nickel metal hydrate NIMH rechargeable battery. Um, I completely discharged it and then completely recharged it. And it actually seems to be working okay. 
Um, at least it's not a, a NICAD, uh, which are, you know, kind of shot. Um, I have a, uh, an old Motorola Radius P1225, uh, and um, I had to get a whole new battery for that because the uh, NICAD was completely useless on that, so. Hey, no, no. radios are way too close together to, do a, to do a proper test. I, don't care. But, um, I have not tested the uh, power output on the Uniden handheld yet, uh, but I imagine it's uh, probably pretty similar. I don't similar. want me I told you, bitch, I don't want me to have me I ain't cooking no Yeah, but I can give me a half Um, I imagine, uh, it's about the same as what they need to get there. I got to get on your ass right now. So here's the uh, squelch control on the Radio Shack radio. radios. Um, you'll notice that the Uniden uh, battery saver function... Make someone drink your house. Or drink your car truck. Disables the LED display when there is no uh, signal and you're not transmitting. <laughs> you make me laugh, man. So you can see the difference in the antenna performance here. Um, you know, you always down and put some demands on me, you little bitch. See how it's breaking the squelch on this thing before it's breaking the squelch here. I got you, bitch. Hey, but you ain't no demands on me, man. Yeah, but I don't trust you right now. I don't trust you because I'm a great yeah. Let's see if we can see the 
can't really see the light out here because it's so bright, but it does have the light function. It's a pretty uh, well put together radio. It's pretty big. It does have. Ugh. It does have um, external power function capability for 12 volt DC, just like the uh, Uniden does. So you can run it as a mobile CB with an external antenna. And I really want to drive home how important it is uh, to use an external antenna when, when using these radios in the car uh, or as a base station. Uh, you really only want to use the antenna on the radio, um, ideally an aftermarket antenna, when you're outside. Uh, the CB frequencies, the 26, 27 megahertz frequencies, do not uh, penetrate buildings as well as the higher frequencies. So it's very important that you... Uh, have an external antenna for these. Uh, we will be back soon. Thank you.